How's it going? So we're going to upgrade Greg today. Probably got him three stars. <laughs> so it's been a little, a little while, but it's been a long time coming. Go ahead and upgrade his skills too. As you might imagine, cosmetics are always changing, naturally. And of course, you know, as they change, it's kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of a, kind of a fun thing to look at and see, but you might have noticed it changed. So like between the range and the Lancers and all that jazz, they got like slightly different looking stuff now. Of course, I don't, I don't know if there's really any major changes beyond that, but I just thought I'd point it out. Um, of course, we got Lucky Wheel, and of course, we are also in the middle of State of Power. So, just for fun, we're just going to go ahead and we're gonna grab some of these and see what happens. So, we got a one hour, another one hour. Ooh, we got some yeah medals. Yay. And, oh, we got another one here. <laughs> oh, and a Mia medal. Okay. And another Mia medal. Okay. Not quite where we can unlock her yet, but we're getting closer. Oh, dude. That's such a tease. Okay, there's another one here. Oh, there we go. Now we can unlock her. Yeah, yes. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and unlock Mia. Since now we can unlock Mia, here we go. Lo and behold, there's Mia. And of course, uh, you know, the particular case of Mia is is that she her main skill is in damage taken, uh, damage taken up is increased up to like fifty percent. But, uh, you know, she's got Fake Crystal, which has kind of got its own place. Um, we'll go ahead and send her a couple of times here. Um, we'll likely need to uh, claim our free stuff here, so we'll go ahead and apply that. And we'll apply this onto her here. But we'll need a couple more, it looks like. But anyways, that's that's Mia. Um, I obviously let's. Uh, I don't know. I guess I got I got the gems, so we do have an option. Of course, my cat's being very vocal. <laughs> but uh, let's just go ahead and grab our loot here. Yes, I know. I know. Everybody's excited to see Mia, just as much as I am. Even my own cat. She's just as excited, if not more. Um, anyways, so we'll go ahead and grab our third tier. Um, doesn't look like we're ranking very high, which doesn't surprise me. So we'll go ahead and pop another nine here. This time we'll skip the animation, though. We'll just pop it as many times as we can. Okay. And we'll go ahead and grab what we can grab. So let's see here we got, uh, looks like we got enough shards, I would hope, to get her at least rank one and maybe a little over. So we'll go ahead and do that. And so like so, there's rank one and rank two. So, all right, now we got 13 more, which, um, Considering she is Lancer, I don't know. I mean, main thing is is Fate Crystal, which, as you might imagine, the exclusive skills for Mia in particular, she's she's a good pick. Um, between Mia and Greg, they're both pretty decent. I think in the Gen Three rotation, I personally won't be bothering with Logan all that much. But again, it's just kind of a preference thing, you know, and. Ultimately, you're just going to have to play your cards however you want to play them. Um, I think in my case, though, I think I'll go ahead and I'll just redeem the 13 I have here, because 
might as well get the points that we can for the event. Um, now, one thing you can do is you can always go to the drill cap, and then you can throw those heroes in to make them instantly level 80, for example. And that way you can really leverage her skills as well as everything else that comes with her. So we'll go ahead and bring her skills up to level 3. And then I don't really worry about having multiple sets. A lot of people do, but there's really no reason to. Um, and so yeah, now we're 3.5 mil and rank 22, so we're a little bit more competitive now. Um, of course, I'm sure I could be a little bit more if I've finangled it a little bit more, but... Anyway, that's that's pretty much Mia, and, you know, I mean, as far as, like, is, is she worth it, you know, should you grab her? I I think it, it's kind of subjective, right, in the sense that, like, what are you doing at the time? Like, are you going to be going around and doing rallies? In which case, yeah, probably pick up Mia. But, like, in general, every, every single generation is always going to be statistically higher. 10%. In terms of their exclusive gear skill is always going to be 10 percent better than the previous generation it's like in some in like in most cases that i've seen it's it's like 40 percent increments from one level to the next you know and i'm sure that won't hold true forever but at least looking at the initial generation heroes i mean you can never really go wrong now i mean overall as far as me as a character goes i guess we could kind of look at her story um, so one of the most exciting times in any city's week must be the arrival of Mia's famous caravan. Always greeted by eager children excited to see what new shows Mia's performers have in store. Oh. Okay, so basically Mia is like a, well, like a trader, basically. And she goes out and around, visiting a lot of locations. Okay, I guess at some point in time she, uh... Ran into body, okay. But we won't know the last story until we get a rank four. But I mean, the basic gist that I get out of it is her crystal ball is a form of witchcraft. <laughs> and I guess you know it's like she's seen at somebody with suspicion because she's got a you know a crystal ball. Which I'll admit, she is probably the most magic-looking hero out of every hero that's available in Windows Survival. She's the only one that really kind of plays with that element. Of course, I guess I might as well go ahead and upgrade Sergei. So we have a max of Sergei now. Um, I, well, I might be able to get him upgraded too. So I think if I just add 30 and then two more. Yeah, we'll have a fully maxed out Sergei and Patrick. So that's, that's cool. Um... Yeah, so now that should probably put us a little bit further up. Oh, whoops. I keep tapping the wrong thing, guys. Oh, man. So now we're ranked 15, but obviously there's always somebody better, so it looks like OTB from 434 is at 3.7 mil. Obviously all these 434 dudes must have went to town. Although I'm... It looks like I'm the highest now ranking in my state. Just... Kind of surprising because I didn't even, I didn't even spend. But okay, well anyway, um. So that said, I mean, um. I don't know. I mean, as far as Logan's concerned, I'm. I i do not know. Maybe it's a bad idea, but I'm not gonna mess with Logan at least, not initially. Maybe I'll I'll change my mind, but I, I haven't. I mean, my main strong suit right now, I think, is gonna be Mia and also Greg, but if you have opinions on this and you'd like to tell me more, like, why I should probably pick Logan or vice versa, I'm all ears. Um, obviously every generation in some fashion is better than the previous, but I, I just, I don't know if he's really worth working on. But, uh, outside of that, that's pretty much where I'm at with that in the game, and I, I don't know, I mean, if, if you're interested in getting me a the main thing, and this is really just in general, whether you're pay-to-play or free-to-play, right, is you want to spend pretty much all of your gems getting to the 120 Xbox and then stopping. And there's not really a whole lot of point in going any further unless you just like to spend and finish out the remaining todays just to get the medals and all the loot that comes along with it. In which case, you know, all the power to you. Um, 
You know, so like there you can get books and stuff like that. And there's not really a wrong answer. But hopefully this was kind of insightful for you. As far as Mia as a character. I mean, overall, I will say with State of Power going on, um, so far the previous um, reward points that we came up with, as you can tell, it's not looking too hot for us. We're not, as a whole state, we're not really looking too hot against 434. But um, the ranking for the first phase, as you can see, was pretty much completely slighted towards OTB. So this OTB guy is really going to town, and he's like 133 mil. So he's not like super, super crazy. Um, we've got Ganel, and Ganel's, you know, he's he's pretty reasonable, being at 146 mil. But you know, it's like the overarching theme here that you can kind of see here is, is at least there's not really a whole lot of players out of 467 that are trying to rank. That's part of the problem. So I don't know if my state's going to end up winning set of power or not. And we'll just kind of have to deal with it from there. But outside of that, I mean, there's obviously a lot of different events going on, like Flam and Fangs, which, as you might already know, I mean, it's a really good event for Fire Crystals, Speed Ups, and that kind of thing. You can also get resources, so... Like, if you're running low on food, for example, it's a good event for that. And then we got Crazy Joe coming up here in 24 hours, so there's a lot to look forward to, but naturally, that's just kind of what's coming up. Hopefully you guys learned a thing or two, and I'll see you guys in the next video.